another change to Major League Fishing in the Bass Pro Tour? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you're a bass fishing tournament fan and you've been living under a rock, well, Major League Fishing has made another scoring change. If you remember, a few years ago they started the Bass Pro Tour. And when they first started, it was every fish over a pound was scorable and counted. After one year, MLF stood for more little fish. So they changed the scoring system in year two, where it was every two pounds, every two pound fish counted. And they've made some changes since then. Uh, it has helped, that format has helped anglers because you know, you can find a school of fish and just beat them up. Where you have bass and every other tournament in the country has five fish. Your biggest five fish counts. You bring them, you put them in your live well, you bring them across the stage, you weigh them in front of crowds, and then that's what your weight is. Major League Fishing now is going to that format, except they're doing it on the water. It's catch, weigh, release. It's a great format for conservation. But as a fan, it sucks. It really is. It doesn't get you to come out to the events. One of the things, if you've ever been to a Bass Elite event or a Classic or something like that, you would be amazed by the amount of people that show up. Major League Fishing does not have that for the BPT. You don't show up for that. It's just how it is. It's just not a fan-friendly event. It's fan-friendly if you're watching it on your computer or your phone or your tablet or your a television they have a good format there but as a fan experience it doesn't happen and that's still not going to happen but what they've decided to do is that they're going to make every five fish count five. One, two, three, four, five. their biggest five fish and uh, and this is going to affect a lot of anglers there's a lot of anglers that have moved white word majorly fishing and moved into bass because the bass format was better for them they were more confident, they fished better, they targeted the right fish. When you're in the major league fishing the past few years, it was just finding a school of fish and just be catching every one. It is going to make the dynamics of the fishing tournament for the BPT change drastically. There's a lot of anglers that are really good at finding those fish and catching numbers. And then it's going to make them change and go back to what they initially started. What works? One of the things about bass is bass has done it for so long, the format is successful and it's proven. And there's something to be said about that. Major League Fishing keeps changing, having changes year after year to the scoring format that just becomes convoluted and it becomes confusing. It's weird to say that while they don't want to be like bass, they should be more like bass. So Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour are going to have five biggest fish. Catch, weigh, release. And that format is going to, this format is going to be the same 80 anglers are going to go out today, group A and group B. And But what's going to happen is 20 anglers from each group are going to move into the knockout rounds. So there'll be 40 there. And then from there they will dwindle down to 10. And then the 10 will have... Well, what really will happen is they'll zero out after the first two rounds. When they get into the knockout in a championship round, the championship round and the knockout round, the, those weights will matter. So they'll end up catching 10 fish over two days. The biggest 10 fish will, whoever has the biggest 10 fish will be the champion. Like, I, like I've said, I think this, is, this format change is a good thing at, and in some instances. I don't know if it's going to add more drama to the the format, the BPT format, because I really think that the format, the best part about the BPT format is the people that are on the verge of not making it. I think that's where BPT has succeeded on creating drama. I don't think they've got the drama on the final day, but we'll see if this format makes the drama happen a little bit better. And when the drama, you have the drama, it makes anglers go out and watch it. And I think that's what Major League Fishing is, is missing. So bass is still king like it dislike it whatever you think i'd love to hear if you like the format if you don't like the format but bass is still king in the industry while they don't have the same names that are in major league fishing in the bpt 
why Bass is still ahead of BPT is the fan experience. There was a drastic difference in the Red Crest compared to the Classic in overall attendance and how anglers and companies did at both places. Bass is still the top, the top thing. And it's surprising to kind of say that because the names are over at BPT. But like I said, the fan experience really sets Bass ahead of everyone else. I should say, the heavy hitters and the team format are still going to use the same format that they've used in the past. And that's where, again, another confusing thing. Just, if I could just say something to them, stick to one thing and just do it. They could have changed this way years ago, and this is what they should have done years ago, but they just haven't. And I appreciate that they've taken the fans and the anglers' perspectives in changing the format. I do appreciate that, but just stop. Just stick with what's what it is. Years ago, I you might not know this, I do graphics for a living. So when a company comes to me and is looking for a logo or something like that, uh, you try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, I remember I, I listened to someone on another podcast talk about how the Major League Fishing or the Big Ten or Big Five or whatever had no creativity in it. And I thought to myself, that's the beauty in the logo. There, It, it doesn't need to be like that. Uh, you don't have YouTube and Yahoo and all these things have crazy stuff. It's simple. And... What Bass is doing is simple. And why not stick to what's proven to work? And that's where I get discouraged with Major League Fishing and the BPT. I'm, I'm tired of all the, the changes. I feel like every year I have to go through a rule book just on new changes. And that stinks. That stinks for the fan, the fan experience. So I say to them, come on guys, stop it, man. Really, stop it. I'd love to hear your comments and tell me what you think of this new format change. Does this make you want to watch more fishing of Major League Fishing and the BPT? Does this make you not want to watch it? The thing about bass anglers is we don't like change. That's the God's honest truth. We do not deal with change at all. And uh, this is another change. And at some point in time, we just need to end it. You know, stick a fork. I'm, I'm done on this side. Anyway, I hope you like this kind of content. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers.